let us begin a construction a construction of a circumcenter so for that purpose what we will do first is we'll choose a slider if you click on the screen slider there are three types of sliders are there number slider angle slider and integer slider and when it is num usually it will start with number slider with the name a then its interval will be from minus 5 to plus 5 and uh, the slider will be looking horizontal on the screen and it will be oscillating and its speed will be 1. Similarly, you can go for angle slider and integer slider also. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to take an angle slider and its interval I am going to make it as from 10 degree to 175 degree with increment 1 that is slider will take values 10, 11, 12 up to 175. I got this slider. Slider value is seeing 45 degree which I can change. Let it be some 59 or 60 degree. You can move by mouse as well as your keyboard. Arrow keys you can use that one. Now what I will do is next I will choose angle with given size. Take two points. It will ask for what value you want to show for the angle. Then I will take uh, alpha because my slider name is alpha. Click OK. So you can see this one. Now what I will do is I will go to the polygon tool complete the polygon so you can see if you change slider you can see the triangle is changing now for the next construction what i will do is i will go for the perpendicular special line toolbox we will call them a special line toolbox where you will take perpendicular bisector, perpendicular bisector of uh, first side, then second side. Both of them are actually, there is a point of intersection, both of them are coinciding. Then now if you mark the perpendicular bisector of the third side it will also pass through this point of intersection so you got a unique point there you can take the point of intersection of these all these three lines by clicking at the point then what you can do is we can hide the perpendicular bisectors i will hide all this one by right clicking similarly i can hide the angle also so i got a triangle if you want to show the points of the triangle i will go here a show label b also show label a dash so also instead of a dash we will take c a dash is show label no, that is center and uh, a dash is show label yeah so if you want to rename what you will do is right click on a dash if you want to make it c rename will is there you can make c then what will happen this c will become c1 so what i will do is i will rename it as say p again rename Now, you will take circle with the center through point. What is my plan is I will take center as P and I will draw a circle which pass through P. See what happens.
you can see that this circle is actually passing through a b c so if you want to do zoom out keep here if it should not be moved means you can what you can do is you can fix the object there or fix absolute posi position on the screen also you can do then it will not move as we move this one you see even if i move this one this uh, text is not moving now what i can show here is you can change this point and you can see that circum center and you can ask the students a question for what value of this angle or for what type of triangles this circum center is lies inside the triangle and for what values it will be outside and for what value it will be on the side exactly on the side of the triangle now we will discuss about an applet which will help you in learning and teaching linear equations of the form y equal to mx plus c begin with the construction of two sliders the first slider is name it's a number slider with name m let its uh, interval be minus 5 to plus 5 and increment be 0 0.1 since it is 0 0.1 increment will not be sh shown it is a default value another slider what i will do is i will define as again number slider its name i call it as c so these are the two sliders we are going to deal we'll keep my graphics view somewhere here in the middle for the discussion purpose now i will go to the input bar in the below where i will type y equal to mx plus c and enter if mx plus c if show some error you have to type as m asterisk sign or star c as uh, star x plus c so you will get a straight line the straight line na name is f this is the straight line uh, of the form y equal to mx plus c now let us see the point of intersection of this line f with y axis which is a which is marked as a then next what i will do is i will mark origin on the input then let origin be b then i will join this a and b with a segment and uh, it is called g so i will take only its value so i will go to the object property i will color it then i will change its style to the dotted line then i will increase its thickness little then i will go to the basic instead of name i will show its value now this is the height of the intercept that is otherwise uh, will uh, height of the point at which the line cuts the y axis so in other words it is y intercept now let us see one thing if you shift our line uh, change the values of c what happens change the values of c you can see that this intercept is changing so c is actually the y intercept of the line in the equation y equal to mx plus c c is the y intercept now let us see another situation let it be here now i will go to the 
measurement toolbox where slope is there i will click on the line then i can you can see a triangle here with the uh, base 1 unit and uh, height m1 in this case it is one only so if i change it may One point six, which is actually from the right angle triangle, it is tan theta, which is slope. So slope is m one, which is one point six. But you change the slider, it is changing. Now, by looking at the values of slider and the slope, you can see that the slope is nothing but m slider value m. So when you write y equal to m x plus c for a straight line, m is the slope of the line and c is the y intercept. Another interesting feature you can see here is if I draw a line perpendicular to this line passing through, say any point I can do, I will mark through here. I got a line. I will perpendicular line h. H is perpendicular to F. Now, if I mark its slope, which is minus zero point seven seven, which is M two. As I move M, you can see both M one and M two are changing. If I change C, the line H itself is not changing, so its slope is not changing. Anyway. we will try to find a relation now what i will do is i will type in the input bar k is equal to m 1 then asterisk m 2 put enter actually what i have done is i have multiplied both the uh, slopes so i will go to the and its value i have given as k now i will go to the text bo box i will type product of slopes and i will go to the object i will type uh, k presently for this two lines product of slope is minus 1 which if you want uh, make it bigger we'll make it bigger giving a color bold medium now let us see what happens if i change m lines are changing so each one slope is changing m1 and m2 are changing but you can see product of slope is always minus 1 so product of slopes of perpendicular lines will give you the value minus 1 or otherwise if you have a line y equal to mx plus c its perpendicular line will have slope minus 1 by m which students can easily verify themselves now we can ask a question to them that what is the relation between the slope of the lines which are parallel now let us see another applet which deals with quadratic equations for that i will define a slider first so number slider with a minimum value 0 and maximum value 10 increment is 0.1 its name is a now what i will do is i will go to the input bar then i will put uh, a point 00 
next point is 5 plus a a is slider name 0 you get b third point is 5 plus a comma 5 plus a that is c and next point is 0 5 plus a so i got four points a b c d then i will complete the polygon a b c d and then coming to a so it is easy to see that the sides let us see what are the distance or length b is equal to 6 c is also equal to 6 d is also equal to 6 and a1 is also equal to 6 okay so as you change the slider you can see all these values are changing but every time it is a square okay so how will you get its area let us see it is easy to find the area i will go to the tech uh, okay i will go to the area tool click on the screen area a b c d equal to 64 so what i will do is i will go to the text tool then i will click on here i will click latex formula where i will type text or i will type here area is equal to always you know that side is 5 plus a square which is actually equal to 5 plus a square which is equal to q1 which is actually area of the square so you can make it little bigger making it uh, medium then you can color we can bold where you want to keep okay let me keep it here now you can see that so actually what you have taken is 5 plus a whole square expansion this 5 plus a whole square is actually a quadratic so now let us see how a general quadratic equation will look like we know that it is of the form ax square plus bx plus c where a is non zero so let us construct such a applet which we can discuss quadratic forms we'll take a slider again minus 5 to 5 let it be a another one b another one c and now what i will do is in the input i will type a x square square i will take from this here a x square plus b x plus c so i got an equation a x square plus b x plus c now advantage is you can if you give this applet to the children they can vary c and observe different features what this c is doing what is the role of c you can see as you move c the height of the graph complete height of the graph is changing what happened to b 
the shape does not have any problem but uh, the curve is actually one kind of rotation is happening for the curve not exactly you cannot tell exact space but it's a kind of rotation and at the same time if you change a you see the shape even if though it is a parabola but uh, it, it is spreading you can see this feature as you move along this one what happens to this now the question is for what values this will be zero or otherwise what are the roots of this quadratic equation so how we can find those things let us see this quadratic equation you can see its roots are to these two points now let us see another situation where you will take a new page you will give don't save if you want to save this applet what you will do is we will click on save and ask where it has to be saved so you can choose the respective folder if you want to do it on the desktop or somewhere what i will do is i will click on desktop and i will give name as g or quadratic i can click save it is already saved new page is opened so i will give click on labeling all new objects then font size i make it 20 now what i am going to do is i am going to define sliders as previous a b c and d i will shift this uh, axis here now this time what i am going to do is f is equal to a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d that is my f so f of x equal to this is the value so now the question is you can change this a so the curve cuts x axis at one point d you can see what is the role of b in this one c then what is the role of d you can verify and uh, interestingly one thing you can see that if this curve touches cuts x axis at at one point now if it touch two point clearly it touches three points that is touching at x axis means it has a real root so it has a, at least it will have one real root or all three are real roots there is no question that there is exactly two real roots you can ask the students why it it is like that what is can you find any reason for that one and they may not be able to answer immediately in the high school level but these questions will be addressed in the uh, higher secondary levels now let us see the equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and in that one we can try various combinations now what i have done is i have made b c d all are zero and a alone varies so which is actually a x cube it's actually a x cube similarly one person can what they can do is we can vary b a x cube plus b alone and uh, sometimes what you can do is we can make uh, b as zero sorry a as zero 
b alone you can vary then you can see it is uh, nothing but uh, parabola and if you shift uh, c so it is actually b x square plus c x so it is uh, again a parabola where if i keep uh, if you made uh, your b 0 so it is actually c x c x is a straight line and uh, if I change C, the similar case you have seen earlier, D if you change, it is going to vary. Now, let us see one interesting uh, construction. What I am going to do is, I am keeping all these here. I will keep uh, A vary, then C I am going to make uh, some values. Okay, I will. What I will do is, I will keep uh, C as zero, B as zero, and uh, C also. I am going to make zero. D is also zero. Now, what I will do is, in the input, I will type uh, B x square plus c x plus d or otherwise what I will do is instead of that combination what I will do is a x square plus b x plus c. So, I got a curve a parabola here called g I will change its color. So, you can see that if I change A, this is the form. Okay. Now, next what I will do is I will make uh, AX plus B, another one, its color also I am going to change, its color I will make as blue, keeping here. Now, what I will do is I will give trace on on each of these curves trace on trace on now i'll right click on a and slider a and give animation I think with this one we can conclude our today's session. Thank you.